Hello everyone, how's it going? I am the Average Guy 1983. Thank you very much for joining me on this video. In today's video, I'm super freaking excited because the time has finally come so that we can install the new Cabo Wolf King GTR headlight into the Inmotion RS. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do exactly just that from disassembling the light and installing the cables and soldering the new cables on, putting everything back together and then showing you guys what it looks like on the RS already on and give you guys a daytime view of how everything is wired up as well as show you guys a nighttime clip of both the original RS headlight as well as the Cabo Wolf King GTR headlight and get your guys' opinion. Now I wanna apologize because I am going to be using the DJI Pocket 3. There are some limitations with this Pocket 3. Number one, it can't zoom in too close to items. So there's just a limitation with that because of its sensor. Uh, number two, sometimes it gets out of focus and it gets confused thinking you're trying to focus on other things instead of what's in front of you. And it's unfortunately, so if you guys do happen to go through that, I sincerely apologize during the process. Uh, normally I would be using this big camera right here, which is my Alpha 7.4 but unfortunately it's too big of a camera literally this this is what i use for all of my videos here and it's just too big to like use for something like this inside of this basement and um i can't use my solder station outside so this is what it's going to have to be for now um the last videos i've done of the unboxing of the rs the um mirrors installation was done with that big camera and it's a $7,500 rig versus this $600 and something dollar pocket three. So uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with this video. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. So before we get started with this, I did want to let you guys know that you're going to have a little bit of soldering skills. You need to have a decent soldering gun that can at least do 700 degrees Fahrenheit for temperature. Uh, number two is going to be some M6 screws by 0.75 inches long. You don't want them longer than that because they will be making contact with the edges that you see here of the screws. So instead of it being like this, it's gonna to be touching each other and it's gonna be a problem. So make sure that you don't get them any more than 0.75 inches long. And you're gonna need at least one washer for each screw and one M6 locking nut. Uh, I also bought some brand new screws. You can kind of see that here, those little silver ones. Those are for the back of here because apparently this thing arrived with one broken head. So I'm gonna to have to extract the broken screw that's there and replace all of these stock screws with better quality screws. So that's gonna be something extra I'm gonna be doing. Um, what we're gonna be doing here is basically disassembling both of these units and we're gonna be swapping out the stock cable that comes for the RS and desolder the cable and solder it onto this one and put it on the RS and test out the light to see how it looks like at night. Um, the ideal thing that I would like to do with this uh, headlight here is use it as a fog light for a wider spread of the uh, floor. Uh, I really need the floor to be wider spread at least one full lane worth instead of this tiny little thing that in all honesty I'll show you guys later on um, doesn't even cover a sidewalk so I need to make sure that I don't use this and use this instead and I got this at Boro Motors you can probably find it at AliExpress for a lot cheaper price but it doesn't come with any screws so this hardware is the original hardware of the RS and this hardware here with the reflector it does have some holes on the edges that do not have any threading of any kind, but you are going to have to make the holes a little bit bigger with a drill so that you can fit the M6 screws that are going to have to go into this so that you can use the Cabo Wolf King GTR headlight with this original hardware. And then just re-screw in your uh, M6 screw on the bottom here to the RS with the you know, five millimeter hex key. So I'm going to go ahead and take all of this apart so we can get started on the soldering part. So let's get to that now. Alrighty guys, so what we're gonna be doing here is just disassembling the units. And the first thing you're gonna need is at least uh, some hex keys. You need a three millimeter hex key, which is this blue one here. And that's gonna be to be able to remove the silver screws that you see on the edge of the RS body for the headlight. And then the four millimeter hex key is gonna be to remove the screw that's right here on this edge and on the opposite edge here for this bracket that goes installed on the RS body. So from there, the uh, five millimeter hex, which I kind of took out in advance is for the M6 screw that's gonna go into the uh, GTR headlight on the side and also to remount it back into the RS body with the original bracket. So let me go ahead and take all of that off now so you guys can uh, be able to see how this looks like. So we're gonna start with the uh, bracket first let's grab the little hex key here 
and start taking it off. Just like that and set it to the side. Do the same thing over here. Okay, got that off. Now we can remove the bracket. This is the bracket that we're gonna be reusing for the RS for that Cabo Wolf King GTR headlight. So we'll put that to the side. Now we can put this to the side as well and use the blue three millimeter hex key to remove the screws from the body. One. Two. Three. And four. Okay, now we can move this to the side. And now we can go ahead and open up this headlight here. And there we go. Oh crap. Check this out. I'm not sure you guys can see that, but that right there is actually efflorescence because of the water getting inside of it. And I thought it was frosted, but no, this is actually water condensation that's inside of this thing that needs to be cleared off and wiped off. Uh, that's not a good thing. Hopefully, uh, this doesn't damage the headlight any further once I clean out all this gunk that's in there. But that does kind of suck to be receiving a $4,000 scooter like that. All right. Well, then let's just go ahead and keep going. All right. So next part we're going to be doing is just we're going to be removing the little um, washer thing that's here. It's like a plug. And we're going to try to get it off on the edge. Just like that. We got it. This is off already. And now we just desolder the cables. Grab the soldering gun, 700 degrees Fahrenheit. Alrighty guys, so we're gonna go ahead and desolder this cable already. And I put down a minus and a plus just so that I can remember this for later. Okay, there's one. And now let's do the second one. A little tip when things don't wanna desolder for you, grab a little bit of solder and try to apply it to the uh, area of the cable and then that will help loosen it up just like that so we got it loose here's the cables now we're going to go ahead and uh, take care of the uh, Cabo Wolf King GTR light And hopefully you guys can see everything okay because uh, I'm using the uh, Pocket 3 and I am wearing a um, LED headlight on me right now so that you guys can see this as much as you know you can on video. There we go. So here's the body of this. Here's the uh, screws that are coming off now. This is a plastic lens, okay? Put that to the side. This is just a rubber or silicone gasket. And here are the headlights that need to be unscrewed from the back right here and right here. Oh, and I have to remove this uh, thing here, so I'm gonna try to take care of that right now. Alrighty, after a couple attempts, I was able to get the screw out that was broken. So, uh, Cabo, Make sure you guys uh, check your quality control, man, because this isn't cool. I was able to take it off with some pliers, but yeah, man, this shouldn't be a thing. Let's throw that away. All right, next part is going to be removing the two screws that are here, one here and one here, to get this assembly off. One. Two. All right. So here is the uh, mechanism for this. Let me see if I can get a close-up. There you go. Just so you guys can see how this goes. It goes like this. So what we're gonna be desoldering 
is this cable here and this one here, which is positive and negative. And I like that unlike the uh, RS, on this one, you actually already have the markings on there. And like you guys can see, there is six LEDs for the left side, six LEDs for the right side, versus two small LEDs that you can see there. Big difference in lighting output on positive. So let's go ahead and desolder these cables and get this one right here installed. And again, a little trick, if the cables do not want to desolder, you could always use a little bit of additional solder to get the cables to come off. Okay, so I had to grab my tweezers because this cable's being just a tiny bit stubborn. Okay, I got one off. This was a little stubborn because the cable kind of has a, it's a little too short. So let me try the other one now. And I'm zoomed in about as much as I can zoom in, man. I'm so sorry about that. I'm really trying to like have a good angle at this. Okay, I got it. All right, so now that this is done, I'm gonna pull out the cables from the back. Just like that. And now we have to install this one in its place. Okay, just like that. Okay, so now what we gotta do here is just solder around this cable. Okay, that's that one there. Got the red one, now we need the black one. All right, my friends, so this part is done. I hope you guys can see it. And I apologize if you weren't able to fully see my solder. Um, it's really hard to try to like get like a really good view of this with the Pocket 3 because it doesn't have a macro lens on it. So being able to get a close up of this is quite difficult, but you can kind of see it there. Hopefully, I hope. Yeah, right around there. Well, it's there, you can see the solder. The only thing I need to do now is just put silicone on here. If I don't do it from the inside, I definitely need to do it from right here on this part to make sure that no water gets in, unlike this, um, you know, RS original headlight has with the whole chalky stuff that you can kind of see there, which is bad. So uh, let me go ahead and start putting this together, seal it up, and then we'll go and plug it into the RS and test it out. Here's now the, uh, Light reassembled. Again, all you have to do is just go, you know, backwards on uh, the uh, disassembly to reassemble it back on. And here we go. So now here's the cable connected so it can look as pro as possible. All I gotta do here is just get a little bit of silicone, black silicone, put it here and uh, make sure this cable gets covered up so nothing gets inside and we're good to go. Alrighty, my friends, hopefully you guys can see this okay. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna be installing this bracket here and we wanna put it on the outside of this uh, Wolf King GTR headlight. So we want to slide it under just like that and make sure that the holes on the edges align with this here like this, just like that. So all we got to do now is grab the uh, M6 screw by three quarters inch long and the washer and set it on the edges. One, two, just like that. And then we're going to be putting on the locking nut Just like that. And the same thing on the other side. Just like that. And just tighten it up. Okay, all we need here is just to tighten up this area here. Hold on to this part. And then tighten it up. Just like that. Same thing on the other side here. Hold it on like that. Tighten it up. Alrighty guys, this is done now. So all we gotta do now is reinstall it. And again, once it's installed like this, you can adjust your lights to your liking, however high you can get it to, or if you wanna aim at the floor so you can get really good visibility of the floor with an external headlight, um, like the way I'm doing, and then just finish tightening up the uh, M6 heads and you're good to go. So let's go ahead and install this on the RS and see how it looks. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, and this is how my InMotion RS now looks like with the Cabo Wolf King GTR headlight. Check this out, man. This is one of the reasons why I chose to name my RS the RS Minion, because it has the Minion looking eyes. Now this is a total of 12 LEDs, which is six per side versus just one per side, which is a total of two 
LEDs on the original um, headlight for the Inmotion RS, man. But this is what it looks like. Again, using original hardware. Here from the side, you can indeed adjust the light to your liking. Once you have it adjusted, just go ahead and tighten up the screw on each side right here and on the opposite side. Once you're done adjusting it, here's the original cable. You can see that there. And this is what it looks like from underneath. So you can see that there it is with the uh, original screw and hardware. And there you have it, my friends. So let's go ahead and do some before and after nighttime videos of uh, just showing you guys what the light looks like. And uh, we'll wrap up this video. Alrighty, everyone. So I wanted to show you guys real quick before we swap out the light, uh, what the stock light looks like. This is exactly what the stock LED headlight for the Inmotion RS looks like. It's just a small spotlight on the floor, nothing more. You can just see how everything looks like here. And it looks pretty poor. This is really bad lighting. This isn't even enough to uh, light up a sidewalk. And I'm not sure why the light is made so narrow. It is bright though. You can see that it's bright. See that? It's definitely a bright headlight. The problem is the angle is so poor, it's narrow. So if it wasn't narrow, this would be a great light. But um, I'm swapping it out for the Cabo Wolf King GTR headlight because I wanna have a wider angle view on the floor as a fog light. Now let me show you guys what it looks like with my Akrunu headlight. I'm gonna turn it on right now on mode one. See that? That is the Akrunu headlight. It's a $50 LED light that does 2600 lumens. I'll go ahead and put this light in the description for you guys. And sometimes they have it on sale for like $39.99, so you're saving some cash. You just gotta look out for the pricing. This is a large five LED light version. And this is mode one. This is uh, mode two. This is mode three. And this is mode four and this is off so again this is what it looks like with the stock headlight man so let's go ahead and switch on over to what the Cabo Wolf King GTR looks like now so that this way you guys can see what a much better fog light for the floor that headlight does over this one alrighty ladies and gentlemen we are on the Ace Pro just like we were earlier with the uh, RS original light but uh, this is what it looks like man check this out so this is the Cabo Wolf King GTR headlight look how much more light you get and yeah you do get a little hot spot right around the middle but again it's by itself we're not even using the Akrunu light that's right there and I will show you guys what that looks like but this is what it looks like with the Cabo light to me it looks amazing man so 12 LED lights versus 2 LED lights and again you can adjust the headlight as high as you want I would prefer to have it maybe somewhere around there so that I can see the floor and to be fair to the RS light as well I'm gonna turn on my Akrunu light right here so you guys can see the difference on that that's my Akrunu light so you can see that it's definitely blinding to the person in the front but it doesn't really matter I know some people get concerned about this stuff, but you want people to see you at night. So this is really important. And again, if I want to do that, I can just use a regular high beam or high beam and low beam or flash. And that's another thing. If I turn off this light now, the Akrunu light is off. This is just the Cabo Wolf King GTR light. You still have the same functions as you do with the GT, the GT Pro and the GTR. So if I turn off the light, just like that and I turn it back on we get a lower output so this way it won't be so blinding to the person in front of you but if you don't want to have a strobe light you can turn it off and then push it back on again for the power and now you get a strobe light effect which is really good if you want people to see you in the bike lane this is freaking amazing man so we turn it back off turn it on again and we're back to the regular light and again even here on this dash cam you can see everything 
you guys can see the time but this is amazing man so now it's up to you guys what do you guys think would you guys prefer to have an upgrade like this with the Kava Wolf King GTR headlight I personally think I made the right choice yes it was 50 something dollars that was a little expensive especially when you can find it on uh, AliExpress for a lot cheaper the difference was that I got my LED headlight from Vora Motors literally within 24 hours since I live in LA so again man this is the Cabo Wolf King GTR headlight and it could be used as a headlight or as a fog light in my case I'm gonna use it as a really good all-around fog light for the floor to at least have one lane of coverage and I think I might be able to have more than just one lane with how bright this light is and have my Akrunu light as my main headlight for the front so fog light and headlight just like my regular car so let's go ahead and wrap this up and uh, give you guys my final thoughts on this whole thing alrighty my friends so what did you guys think of this uh, tutorial on how to swap out the LED headlight from the RS to the Cabo Wolf King GTR light um, I hope that you found the video helpful in my personal opinion I really think I made the right choice in getting the Cabo Wolf King GTR headlight uh, it's much brighter uh, it has a much more wider angle view so it definitely at least a one lane you know size viewing for the floor and it can be used as a headlight if you point it up higher or as a fog light if you point it lower so in my case i decided to point it lower so that this way i can have um better visibility at night with the floor of the street because of what happened to me on my previous accident with the max g2 so i really need to watch out for that and for loose road debris and things like that and drive cautiously now um my goal with this rs is just going to be to most likely drive it in speed 2 which goes up to 41 miles an hour based on the display i still need to do a range test on both eco mode and on uh, drive mode which is the one that goes up to 40 so they changed it up though now it's by numbers one two three and four but it used to be eco mode which is now one drive mode which is now two sport mode which is now three and extreme mode which is now um uh, gear four or it used to be an x mark before so um it's not anything bad uh there's a couple people that already said that they can't get their rs to go faster than 55 or 57 miles an hour i got mine to go up to 51 and in all honesty that was for me a little bit reckless i would honestly not want to go faster than 45 realistically speaking so it would be cool to be able to update the uh firmware on the rs where we can do things like the gt1 and the gt2 where you can adjust your speeds on your um on the app where you can set each gear up to the speed that you want so you know that you're not going to go over a specific amount even if you fully throttle it that would be really cool so in motion if you're watching if you can give us an update on that that would be freaking awesome uh other than that this is it for this video guys i'm wrapping things up because i got to get to work but uh i want to thank you guys for sticking around all the way to the end for all of you guys that actually wanted to see this and um the next video i'm going to be working on is going to be on the gt1 so that i can get the camera cable ran through the inside of the neck area all the way down to the master controller and all the way to the back of the battery bank and then to the rear fender area where the brake light is at so once i do that i think everything will be cool i'll be able to finish installing everything and you guys will get to see how the guts and everything looks like of that scooter so with that said this is all i have for you guys again comment your opinion down below in the comments and tell me what you guys think and if you would actually do this upgrade for yourselves other than that peace for now have a good one guys bye